Good morning. Welcome. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, good to see you again. This is Jeff with Jeff and Kevin's Retired Life. It's very early, about 6.15 in the morning. You can see that we're going to have a storm. That's kind of what my video is about today is when stormy weather arrives, meaning sometimes relationships, you've got to anticipate and decide what to do. Well, another thing I've decided to do recently is uh, I kind of write things down a lot. I'm kind of a writer. I write things a lot and then I try to do videos and sometimes when you talk and you get stumbling and things just don't sound the way you want them to. So I've recently uh, been typing all of my thoughts into what's called an algorithm, um, artificial intelligence, and uh, I hit on there, um, generate. And it puts all my words into text form into a voice, and then I can add pictures to the story. So that's kind of what I've done with this next video that I'm gonna upload about siblings, family toxicity, and when it's okay to walk away. So enjoy my video and tell me what you think in the comments, all right? Subscribe, I'll see you soon. Take a look at the video, tell me what you think. Growing old alone, is it really all that difficult? Well, I can confidently say that it's a choice I made. Instead of keeping toxic, family members around me, I made the decision to remove them from my life. It was a tough awakening to realize that we are a product of our environment. We must all take the time to reflect and look inward at what we believe, how we react and how we interact with our family. As time went on, it became more and more apparent that toxic relationships existed within my own family. I found myself questioning if having contact with siblings or any family member was healthy for me. Sure, disagreements and arguments can happen between siblings or parents at an adult age, but if that con action constantly creates argumentative situations or unwelcoming criticism, it may be time to walk away. That's exactly what I did. I couldn't continue to have an abusive and toxic relationship with my family if it meant I had to be silent and suppress my thoughts and feelings during discussions. The name calling and judgment became too much for me to bear, walking away or ending. Phone calls with my siblings left me feeling beat up and mentally exhausted. I realized that they had no concern for my feelings or understanding of the situation. It was simply a way for them to control the outcome. I often reminded myself that just because someone is family doesn't mean they have to be a friend. I don't allow friends to treat me differently or disrespectfully, so why should I tolerate that from my own family? That was the deciding factor for me. I had a sister who used to always say to me, Jeff, you will die a lonely man all by yourself with no one to love you. <laughs> she would follow that statement up by saying that she, on the other hand, had children who would love her and be there for her. <laughs> I chose not to have children in my life because I knew that growing up in our toxic family had not given me the emotional tools to be a nurturing parent. Unlike my siblings, most of whom chose toxic partners and raised children in a toxic home created and perpetuated by them, I made the conscious choice to break that cycle. So being alone doesn't automatically mean loneliness. For me, it was a deliberate choice to prioritize my mental and emotional well-being over being surrounded by toxicity. Here I sit, growing old not alone, but rather void of toxic siblings. And I am content in knowing that I chose a path free from toxicity and emotional harm.